Welcome back. The Spiders come away with a big win today. We've got uh, Liz Brown with us here and also Coach Michael Schaefer. And Coach, first of all, a uh, big win for you. I know you're coming into the game that you wanted to get back on track after the Dayton game. You did that in St. Louis. You did it again uh, today. So just talk a little bit about your efforts, especially on defense in the second half. You know, I thought we did a, a really good job rebounding the basketball, forcing them to shoot contested shots. And, and when that happened, we they missed shots, and we were able to rebound and then run and transition, and we were able to get some easy baskets and kind of push the lead open to where it was a little bit more comfortable for us. You know, and the reality of it is, is I mean, we're tired. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm not going to make excuses, but, I mean, we've played two games at Dayton in overtime and then going to St. Louis, which is a tough travel trip, and then coming back here and playing at noon on a Tuesday is a lot of games in, in a short amount of time and two of them on the road. And so I was really, really proud of the ladies for battling and then particularly in the second half defending and extending the lead instead of grinding it out. So, you know, I'm all in all, I'm pleased with the win. And did you want to get into that second half? Obviously, they shot 52% in the first half. You had a, a great number of assists as well in the contest, two points of emphasis for you in the second half. You know, I, I think we, we assist very, very well, and I wanted to make sure that, that from their perspective that we were contesting everything they did and, and making them shoot contested shots, making them not be able to see into the paint and or drive the basketball into the paint. And if we could do those things, now we could run the basketball, and our team is incredibly unselfish. You know, we pass the ball so well. Uh, and, and it doesn't really matter who's scoring. I mean, if, as long as we can get the score, that's a, that's a positive thing. And that's, that's where the assists, you know, start mounting up. I mean, the St. Louis game, we had 16 assists, and, and tonight I'm sure we had a high number as well. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the way our team plays. But most importantly, I'm pleased with the, with the selfishness, I mean, the unselfishness that we play with. Uh, and you talked, too, about uh, wanting to create a little separation maybe in the standings. So you had, to, you had to win the day with St. Joe coming up as well on Saturday. Yeah, and that's what we just talked about is that, you know, in order for us to do what it is we're, we think we're capable of doing, we need to start creating separation and not sit around the 500 level and sit around in that big group of, of teams that, that uh, the A-10 provides. I mean, there's a ton of really good basketball teams in our league, and we need to make sure that when we're going down the stretch, and this stretch is going to be really, really difficult, particularly starting on Saturday with St. Joe's, uh, it's going to be a battle, and we need to have everybody ready to go. You know, we got to be well rested, uh, we got to be focused, and, and we got to be able to defend and then rebound down the stretch. And hopefully, you know, playing on Tuesday gives us an extra day, so hopefully, we can get that accomplished. Right, good luck on Saturday. We'll talk to Liz for a minute, Coach. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's talk about rebounding, and, and Liz Brown's here with us now. Fifteen rebounds today. I don't know if you knew you had that many or not, but uh, obviously, you guys came back from Dayton and wanted to work on rebounding a little bit and then work on emphasis. So just talk a little bit about that. Um, Coach has been honest um, now for a couple of days that we need to step up and get to the boards. Um, like the challenges that he's put to us, I think we're starting to understand what we need to do and we're starting to come out and reach those challenges. Um, tonight I thought our big stepped up, number 20 and number 11, they're great players. I thought we handled them very well. They gave us a challenge and I think we stepped up to it. Offensively for you, now your team shared the ball. We talked about with Coach Schaefer the number of assists. Uh, you finding the open player, finding the open man, and, and being able to do that, you were the beneficiary of that a little bit too. Um, every day in practice we work on looking at where players are going to be and what's going to happen. So I think in a game it's kind of second nature that we always have those second options open and it's easy to find when we're working on if they're, uh, depending on how the defense is playing us, we know how to cut. So I think it helps for the passers to find us. Uh, you're a freshman, obviously. What's been the biggest adjustment for you from the maybe the high school game to the college game now that you're a few games into this season already? Um, I think the biggest adjustment is just realizing that it's not high school anymore and you have to play to your full potential every time you step out on the floor. And you need to come off the court tired because if you don't, then you didn't work hard enough while you are in the game. So I think it's just the whole fact that you just got to step up and meet the challenge every night. Physical nature of the game too, you getting used to that a little bit? Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I mean, I got bumped around a lot in the beginning and I still am, but I think I'm getting used to it and I'm handling it a lot better than I was. So. All right, well, good luck against St. Joe on Saturday, Liz. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Right, that's uh, Liz Brown. We'll be back in a minute, take a look at some of the stats, we'll take a short pause here and we get set up. Spiders win a big one today and back with more in just a moment here on richmondspiders.com.